welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. So it is a beautiful day today. We took a bit of a hike here in the Pacific Northwest. And the reason why I bring that up, that it is my day off and that we are out in the woods doing something a little bit fun, is that I wanted to talk a little bit about Sabbath and what that can mean for you and yours. We're gonna start off. So we're gonna go all the way back to Genesis chapter two. And this is of course the creation story and something very interesting happens that we're gonna follow along. It says, God blessed the seventh day and he sanctified it because in it he rested from all his work which God had created and made here God is creating the entire universe he gets to the end he gets to the seventh day and he takes a rest he literally stops this is an example for each and every one of us to make sure that in your life no matter how much work you do no matter how many things you have going on in your life that you do have to take a day to rest in fact, Hebrews picks up on this topic just a little bit farther along. I'm going to read that to you as well. It's Hebrews chapter 4. It says, So there remains Sabbath rest for all the people of God. For one who has entered his rest has himself also rested from his works as God did from his. So whatever you do for a living, that seventh day, that Sabbath, you need to take a rest from that thing. Now, perhaps you bake for a living. You're a baker. You work at a grocery or something. On your day off, going home and cooking is probably not the thing you're being called to do. Someone like me who uh, works in ministry all week long, perhaps taking a day and baking is exactly rest for me. So what your rest is and what my rest is may be different. He does clarify a little bit though. He says, therefore, let us be diligent to enter that rest so that no one will fall, though following the same example of disobedience, for the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword and piercing as far as the vision of soul and spirit, both joints and marrow, able to judge the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. And I think that's the key that we need to focus on for just a minute. And that is whatever your Sabbath rest looks like, it is about the intention of the heart. God sees through us right to the bone and the marrow, right? The word of God is not anything, if not a sword, able to divide those portions of us up. You cannot fool the Holy Spirit and say, I'm taking a day off when we really know that everything inside your heart, everything inside your mind, everything inside your day is actually you trying to get ahead you trying to work it is going to catch up with you he finishes the passage off in verse 13 and there is no creature hidden from his sight but all things are open and laid bare in the eyes of him who we have to do meaning that god sees through that there is no hiding from him and what i love is in this case not only are we told that god sees all that we do so be cautious of where you spend your time and your energy and your money but on top of that, the thing that we're being looked out for here is that we are taking time off to rest our heart and our mind and our soul. God commands you to be healthy in all ways, and that means taking a full Sabbath rest. Well, if you are like me, that probably means doing something you enjoy, spending a little time in the Word, maybe some time with your family. Well, I'm going to go finish my Sabbath. I pray you do exactly the same thing. I hope this has been just as encouraging for you as it has been for me. Don't forget to take your Sabbath this week. Be encouraged. God bless. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you next week.